it's what they should do first and foremost is legalize drugs and the reason being is that they're getting across from organized crime and it's building organized crime in Mexico to a staggering degree the drugs are here people are selling these drugs period they're going to keep selling these drugs you're not going to diminish the amount of drugs you're just not yeah no one's ever been able to do it the drug wars are complete total failure people so how love do you coke. they love coke so make coke legal you would put a fucking halt to so much and if you made coke legal people would buy pure coke mm -hmm. you would it would be tested and you you could give people drug education because like everybody knows okay how many beers can you drink if you drink three beers you probably shouldn't drive a car mm -hmm. unless you're a giant yeah. you know like three beers you're probably over the legal limit unless you're a bear huh? right unless you're some seven foot tall Gorilla type man who's just got a lot of body, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but a, a regular like you are yeah, a regular guy. You after three I beers, you three shouldn't. beers, you should not drive, right? So now stop and think, like, what is the level for cocaine? I don't know. I don't do it. I've never done it, but I don't know what it is. Like maybe we should know. Like you know, you can't have three shots of Jack Daniels mm -hmm. and drive. Okay, but what what about? What about speed? How two much lines. speed can you take? I yeah. think two lines of coke you should not be talking to people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you should be like forming a business. <laughs> should be fucking yeah. calling an architect. Dude, one of my buddies <laughs> tried to put all of his fingers in his butt one time after he did like an eight ball of coke. How crazy is that? No. It's so a good goal. But I'm just saying, so look, and it's hard apparently to do. <laughs> apparently. And it's they used to have a name for it. What was that called? Fingers in your butt? <laughs> yeah, it was called something. It was like called uh, the clapper, the Liberty Bell, or something, some crazy <laughs> thing. But um. <laughs> Jamie's googling it. <laughs> what is it? What is the term when you have all your fingers in your butt? I think that's called go for hunt. You have to be yeah. like, how would you do that? You'd have to be like lying on your back with your legs Bugs Bunny style over your head. You'd have to hook your legs yeah. and then go in like this. And dude, you, you have to be super flexible to pull that off. And you're gonna. The crazy part is, and I've just I haven't thought about this a lot, but I have thought about this for a little mm. bit. You're going to start with your smallest fingers, and then you're going to be stuck with those thumbs. That's what you're going to be trying to get oh, at the end. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the hard part. Yeah, you're going to rip your asshole apart. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the like risk a, you take. Like an old balloon. And oh. that's, that's, why it's, that's why it's exciting, I think. <laughs> you know, if there's no uh, – there has to be some risk or reward in it. Your friend must have slender fingers. Well, he was – I mean, look, dude, he's on that much cocaine, dude. I'll do any – you know, yeah, I used to – That's the thing. Dude, I got all fucked up. and it, You know, I used to get cocaine and do it by myself at home, you know, just to – I don't know. I wasn't doing that good. Just to have some feelings. And I remember, <laughs> dude, I would order vests and shit off the internet. I have like, like a, what kind of vests? Oh, all kinds. Man. Like the kinds that we would wear if you lived in Boulder with them, the down filled ones, uh, Patagonia type oh, vests. No. I've done right? some. I've gone. That's a weird look. <laughs> there, when you got the flannel shirt with the puffy vest. Oh, yeah. Very common look, but it's like, what are we doing here? <laughs> well, I want to be warm, but I want a little, little bit of ventilation in my arms. <laughs> Uh, just a little chill, uh, just a little, a little yeah. warmth around my body, though. I like my torso to be warm. <laughs> I'm talking old. I'm talking all kinds, bro. I would get the leather. I would get the ones with the bead. I mean, I have like a. Honestly, I have probably about thirty vests at home. Why vests? Why was that the thing that you would order on cocaine? It was just something I like to do, what man. What about it, belt buckles? Do you have any preposterous belt buckles? <laughs> uh -uh. Like some that light up different colors and shit? You're like, yeah, I'm going out with this. <laughs> One of my buddies had a belt buckle that said pussy only on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, that guy's gay. 100% <laughs> gay. He's like, yeah, I love pussy. What about you? I fucking love pussy, bro. You know what I do when I get pussy? Yeah. No, what do you do? I'll show you, bro. Take your pants off. <laughs> this asshole was a pussy. I fucking like yeah. that. <laughs> First, I spit on it. Now, yeah, be careful. He's like, yeah, I got a labia. Tattooed around yeah, my asshole. Bro, love it. Let's party. That's how much I love pussy. <laughs> I got vulva tattooed on my back in uh in old English letters. <laughs> bro, I love pussy so much I had my asshole turned into a pussy. Yeah, Are you dude. sure? Yeah. yeah, go ahead, fuck it. Yeah, put it your feels just like the real thing. Put eight and a half of your fingers.